Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Today, we are checking out another DLC Spirit Board pack. Of course, this is the first one of the second DLC Fighters Pass and is for Min Min, who we showcased last episode. So we have a whole bunch of arms themed spirits here to go through. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, and they're all over the place. So it's just gonna be every arms fighter. Well, not every fighter. Looks like it's the original set of them, but not the added DLC characters that came after. All right, well, that's sort of a shame. I don't think it would have been too much of a harm to add them, but it is what it is. Um, it looks like we already have Springman, but I'll go ahead and take this on for the sake of it. Um, of course, we'll be playing as Min Min throughout all of this, but uh, let's just go ahead and, what's the button for auto pick? Here we go. So that should give us an advantage, I think. Uh, and then Fighter, we obviously don't want Byleth, that was for the last time. We need to switch over to Min Min real quick. There we go. Should be a lot of fun, but you'll be taking on every Spirit Fighter here and trying to unlock them all. Starting with one we already have, but hey, that means we can recycle this duplicate, get some extra stuff out of it. It's Springman being, taking over uh, me Brawler. So, that's pretty cool. I didn't play the best with Min Min last episode, but you know, it helped me warm up and figure things out a bit, so. Hopefully we can, ow, continue that here, but it's up in the air at the moment. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, ow. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh gosh, that's not what I want. There we go. Come on. I tried the dodge there, it didn't really work out. We're very close to the edge, we gotta be careful because we don't wanna get knocked out with that. Oh, but there we go! We had sort of like a back hit there. That worked out quite well. There we go, so we get a second spring man. We get some other rewards as well. Not too worried about those ones. Now let's move on to the next one. It's in the Van Spirit, it is Ribbon Girl. All right, so I think I'm going to uh, really quickly just switch things up a bit. Got first attack up. Looking good. So it's gonna be me Brawler again. I have a feeling we're gonna be going against me Brawler a lot, but maybe not. I just know that, you know, they obviously have the Ribbon Girl fighter costume here. Ooh, got a good 24% on you that time. Wow, we are really stacking up that damage. Oh gosh. Ooh, that was great. Oh. Just trying to wait for the right time there. There we go, that was excellent. Hmm. Come on, no, uh, dodge it. I just need one more good hit on you, and I'll probably do it. Oh no, she's turning around on me. Oh, that was really good, okay. Yeah! No, that was the last hit for sure. Yeah, there it is, see ya. That one was much easier for whatever reason. So there's Ribbon Girl unlocked. Uh, she's a grab spirit. Not too bad, we're just gonna keep moving through it as much as we can. We got Ninjara next. Um, of course, Grin Ninja is uh, the one who takes him over. Uh, and the, the status condition, the enemy has increased move speed, which makes sense. Ninjara was a really cool character too. Honestly, he was sort of my pick for when it was a mystery of which character would end up being a um, the new fighter. We just knew it was going to be arms. I thought like Ninjara is like a popular character, but also niche enough to make like a pretty cool move set out of. Ready, go. And he definitely was common in the game for people to play as him. So like it, it made sense, but they ended up going with uh, Min Min, which I think it was a great choice. Oh, come on. Thank you. Easy fight, easy fight. That's what I want. <laughs> All right, we unlocked Ninjara, which has move speed up, a support spirit there. Yeah, I think uh, Springman and Ribbon Girl were primary spirits, but that was a support. Uh, we have Master Mummy coming up next. Of course, we went against this in the classic mode. It's um a, a big DK that we gotta go against. The enemy has super armor but moves slower. The enemy favors grabs and throws. So I don't think he's super sized like he was in classic mode, which I really appreciate because that wasn't too fun to go against, but let's try things out now. But yeah, Master Mummy was actually 
one of my better characters in arms, I feel. I feel like I could have uh, handled him quite well in... Uh, he is definitely larger in size, but not as much. I really struggled going against him. Oh, oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's not quite gonna... But that will! Why are we doing so well? This is great! I'm really happy about it, but there we go. He is a defense primary spirit. Um, but he uh, he was definitely one of the characters I survived a little bit better with in Grand Prix. Back in the arms, you know, main game. Uh, but we have Mechanica coming up next, another really interesting character, because uh, she's in her robot suit. And she's being taken over by Giant Wendy, which I sort of see, it is sort of like the Koopa car, isn't it? All right then, so let's change things up because we want to get an advantaged spirit here. There we go. This ups our transformation duration, which I don't know if that's gonna be too helpful. We don't have a transformation. The enemy has super armor, but moves slower. Stamina battle, and the enemy is giant. Gotcha. Oh, we're giant too. Cool. Oh no. So it's sort of like an equal playing field. Here we go, come on over. See what happens. No, okay, you jumped right over it. Oh, but that super size is only for a limited time. Oh no. No, give me that sword. I wanted that sword. Okay, we're still in the lead here. You know what? This is just an even, oh, bigger target to hit. Thank you. Come on, go for you. Ah. Ah, I'm facing the wrong way. That's so awkward. Come on, just one little hit. Can we do one little hit on you? There it is. Stamina battle on it, up working towards my favor there. Bigger target to hit and just knock down our health. And we get Mechanica, who is gonna have weapon resist up. At this point, this is not gonna be a very long episode at all. Oh my gosh. But the more difficult ones are coming in. Once again, we already have this spirit. I don't know when we did this, but we have Twin Tail. I think that some of these spirits were already in the game, which also, you know, when you think about that, that sort of does bum me out that some of these spirits were already in the game, yet they couldn't find the time just to add a couple more spirits for the DLC fighters. I don't know, I thought that's a little bit like, uh, come on, but it is what it is. Uh, we got Twintel, who's being taken over by Bayonetta. The enemy's smash attacks have increased power, favors smash attacks, and starts the battle with a drill. Twintel was another really cool character that I wouldn't mind seeing actually become the DLC fighter. But I think that overall, um, I think Min Min is a better choice, but Twintel is just a really cool character. I like how she fights with her hair. Definitely one of my favorite characters from ARMS. Gonna dodge that for sure. Glad that she sort of wasted that right away. Oh. I really like the shocker one. Oh, come on over. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Right there. Wow, 0% damage taken there. We are doing so well. Air defense up for Twintel. She's a support spirit. I don't know if any of these other guys are actually primaries, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, there are. Um, we got Bite and Bark, who's actually a neutral primary, and that's a novice. Yeah, a lot of these are advanced and novice. Somehow, um, Springman was actually the ace. Uh, but Bite and Bark being taken over by Mega Man. Defeat the main fighter to win, and the enemy is metal. I would hope so. He's a robot. It was made out of cardboard. That'd be a bit of a problem for him, wouldn't it? There we go, so we're gonna use this combo. Sounds good to me. Be yeah, with Bite and Bark. Um, they were always cool, they were like the police officer robot combo. There was a lot of fun character designs in ARMS. I would have loved to just sort of see more with it. I think that really it could have benefited from a story mode. It's one of those things that I feel like if they ever made an ARMS 2, they'd really have to go crazy with trying to sort of take advantage of everything and really make sure it's like a super awesome game. Not to say the ARMS one wasn't, but I thought there were just some things that they didn't go all out on. Like there was no full story mode. Some of the characters weren't added until later on. I hit that Bob up for no reason. Oh, come on. Come on, there we go, got you a little bit. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there it is, see you buddy. So there is another spirit unlocked, Bite and Bark. All right, so with this uh, spirit, we have water weakness down, which is good, I think. So there we go, we get some extra levels for our spirit as well. We're storming through this. There really isn't that much left on the, we have one more left on this page. This is actually a tougher one, it's an ace spirit. Um, and it's Kid Cobra, which 
like I said before, is probably my favorite fighter from ARMS, and the one that my pick for what have been, what would have been the best ultimate fighter. But hey, Min Min was great too, but just look at this guy, this cool little feet he's got kicking out there, he's got the cool shoes. By the way, Kid Cobra is actually being taken over by Min Min. Um, the enemy has increased move speed when the enemy is at high damage, and the enemy starts a battle with a drill. So when we take him on, let's go ahead and get an Octoling out here, sure, why not? So Min Min versus Min Min, but at a different color. I do see the, the color reference now. Makes sense, it definitely matches his palette. Oh, so I'm going to try to dodge your drill whenever you throw that. Okay, I did for the most part. I did the most important thing. Oh, that was good, that was good. Let's go ahead and get that heavy puncher out. And then, ready? Come on up. <laughs> okay, well that wasn't perfect. Oh, you almost got hit by that. And there's another one. Oh yeah, these are like the things he skates on in the level. Oh, that's so cool. Ready? Catch. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm so awkward right now. How is she outmaneuvering me so well in a situation like that? There's so many of them. I want them all. Those little Pokeballs, I gotta collect them. She's at 103% right now. Come on. Oh. The problem is, if I overcrowd myself with them, I can run into them too. Ah. Uh, really, it doesn't matter who puts them down. They're always a threat. There it is, I was waiting for it. Thank you very much. So for being an ace spirit, not too bad. That's a primary um, power attack spirit um, with speed up. Cool. Okay, so let's see what's going on on the second page. We have two more spirits here. We have Helix, of course, the DNA GUI guy. Um, he would have been also a cool one as the fighter, but either way, Helix is getting taken over by Dark Samus. Um, conditions are the enemy is giant after a little while and only certain Pokemon will emerge from Pokeballs. He's tiny, but then he becomes giant. Yeah, I guess that's because he sort of like squishes down on the ground and then jumps up real large in the game. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some more spirits in here. And then maybe we'll do some spirit management at the end of today's episode just to get some more things figured out. Of course, I did spend some uh, of the coins last episode. There we go. Uh, oh no. So I don't know if I have to get rid of both of them. I mean, actually, yeah, well, one of them is just did out, so. I don't have to worry about it too much. Wow, that was bad. I just didn't get my second jump at all and couldn't recover. Okay, well, let's just try again. That's sort of the beauty of this, right? Is that I can try as many times as I need to. So if a one-star enemy somehow gave me that much problems. It's funny that the first one I, I die on is actually a, a one-star spirit. Go. It's a bit embarrassing when you think about it. Okay, so once again, let's switch over to this arm. Oh, and I went. <laughs> See, that's normally how it goes, it seems. By the way, our support spirit Helix has transformation duration up. Nice. Always good to see that. We're gonna move on now to the final spirit, and this is where I'm a little bit disappointed because I never had the um, the DLC fighters. I mean, uh, technically Max Brass was a DLC fighter. He was only added as a playable character later on, but he was always in the game from day one as the final boss, so. I don't know, I feel like that's still not the same. Either way, we will, um, there we go, it looks like we're getting Metal Sonic here as we take on Max Brass. He was a really fun character. He's being taken over by King K. Roll. The enemy is giant when the enemy is at high damage. Stamina battle on the enemy has increased attack power um, at some point. I'm just gonna assume at all times. Ow, oh, and he's already coming out of the gate swinging. Jeez, he's good. I mean, it is a legendary grade spirit. It's the only one Sometimes there's like one or two. Isn't there something between Legendary and Ace though? Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up, maybe not. Oh, I charged that up, that was good. Thank you. Okay. I like that combo. I do feel like, you know, over time between last episode and this episode, I am getting a little bit better with Min Min. And I'm fully expecting this one to take a couple of tries. Oh, come on. Yes! Thank you. So we've caught up almost all the way in health here. Oh, that would've been great to get you with that. Ow. Oh, he's big now. 
He's big. He's got attack power up as well. Oh no. This is where the battle gets tough. Oh, but I got my final smash here at 2.5 HP. I don't know if this is gonna make enough of a difference, but it's still certainly possible. That does next to nothing that did like three or four HP. The final hit did a little bit better. Oh, come on. I can't get hit, not even once. Not even, ow, and there's once. <laughs> Yikes, but we got another 45.5. Not too bad for our first attempt. Let's go for it again. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good. I did upgrade my spirits. I noticed that they were a little low in power, so I chose one that was like 10 or 11,000, which is still less than he is, but that is definitely helping. It's making a huge difference. I only need to do a little bit more to get the win here. There, there it is, awesome. Just had to time that punch just right and we get a victory on him. I did die quite a few times, but I only died once since switching the spirits. So I will show which spirits I have. But Max Brass, the critical super giant support uh, spirit, legendary grade, how cool is that? Getting a new legendary here. Um, so yeah, there we go. There were all the spirits from the arms spear board here in the second DLC fighters pass. We get 10,000 gold for completing everything, which is always nice to see. Um, but yeah, if I go over and just show you my party, I ended up having a um, James McCloud at level 95, giant killer and armor knight. Obviously the giant killer helps out a lot there too, but that, that gave me a power of 12,176 to more compete with his power of 12,600, which before I was only at like 8,000 and I was really struggling. So there we go, lots and lots of fun right there. I'm glad that we were able to get through it. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the DLC fire spirit board there for arms and for Min Min. I think it was cool, but why not also have the other arms fighters? There was, um, trying to think about <laughs> who they were. I just really don't think it would have been that difficult for them to add spirits for the remaining four characters that were added through DLC after arms launch, which was Lollipop, Masango, Springtron, and Dr. Coil. All very cool characters, would have loved to see them, especially Sprintron, probably would have been pretty easy. But yeah, with that being said, we're not quite done. I wanted to take a look at our collection and filter through any duplicates, as well as see our activities here. Um, is there anything more I wanted to do? I could at least set up some people in the gym. I can bring some people back from the expeditions. Um, the expeditions will give them extra special points and stuff, so that's always good. So we might as well set up some more people here, not by condition, but by um, last used and go to these ones. Um, Cause I've never used these ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do all the Fire Emblem ones. Uh, that might work out pretty well. I don't know half these characters anyways. Um, there we go. And then lastly, you're right there. Okay, we're just gonna depart with that. Hopefully it'll earn them some extra experience, but at the least they'll get me some um, spirit points, which we'll spend for sure. Uh, okay, yeah, let's get that all from there. And all the other ones didn't really give me too much. Uh, but I do want to focus on also is leveling up these guys. Anybody who can be uh, upgraded or enhanced, we want to make sure that they get enhanced. So let's do all of that. And let's begin with some more stuff by enhance ability. So you can be enhanced. Uh, you over here, Eldegard. We've already enhanced Boom Boom so many times. It feels like it's been three or four times now. We got Hades. And then finally, Dimitri from Fire Emblem. I guess, I don't know if we've actually done that one or not. But that help us, you know, get another set of characters level 99. That'll be fun. Um, and with all that done, we still have the shops. I'm pretty sure I've gotten most, if not all, of the spirits. No, I haven't from the shops. Uh, some of them, I think. But either way... Does it tell me if I have it or not? Oh yeah, I, I do. I have owned one for both of these guys. Let me look through really fast and see if there's any I don't own. And if not, I'll just buy the duplicates and recycle them for other stuff. We don't have X Parasite. So let's definitely get that. How do I? Well, I think I have had X Parasite in the past then. Yeah, because it can be enhanced. Gotcha. So I had those other two. What about for uh, Funky Kong here? Um, apparently I don't have this. I think once again, this is an enhanceable one. Yeah, so I did have it in the past. That's crazy. I think I really do have all of the story mode spirits checked off. Yeah, I have all these guys. So I'll probably buy the cheapest ones and like recycle the duplicates. Oh, I don't have this. and I don't have enough for it either. But what about Arwing? I don't have Arwing apparently. Okay, maybe there's still more expensive ones I don't have. 
There we go. We'll take that one, the Arwing. Um, so hopefully soon then I can get the Blastomatic. Obviously a pricier one. I don't quite have the spirit points for that right now, but we'll save up for it over time and hope for the best. But if we go to our dismissals, uh, we should be able to go by number of taint, hide low, and just cycle through the lower one level ones. Um, so you, you, I, I got a second Eevee for some reason. I'm not really sure why that happens. Um, but I, I logged into the game. It's like, hey, here's another Eevee. So we'll go ahead and dismiss this group right here. This will give me an extra thousand spirit points. And if I really wanted to, I could just dismiss a bunch of spirits and get a ton of spirit points out of it. Maybe that'd be worth it. Um, I don't know, I'll consider it because, I mean, as long as I have them knocked off in the long-term inventory, that's sort of what I want. Um, all the spirits you've collected because this is a spirit list, so everything I've ever unlocked here is here, even if we sell it or get rid of it. Uh, so I always think that's cool. Why are these, what is that icon on the bottom right? Is that spirit board, like DLC maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe not, because there's a lot of them. Um, I think it just means we got it on the spirit board then probably. Uh, yeah, very cool to see though, for sure. Um, that we have 1,154 out of 1,420. So like less than 300 remaining throughout all of them. I will certainly be working on that. We have apparently like all the masters. I don't know what master spirits are. I, why don't, I don't know why I don't remember that, but uh, master spirits, there's the fighter um, spirits. I'm still working on some of them for sure. Um, some of them, I guess you could replay classic mode to maybe get them. I'm not sure how that works, but yeah, still working on a couple of those. Um, the supports is what I have the most I'm working through, 101 left. And then actually now, there's slightly more here, about 152 more primaries to get. Interesting. All right, well, we'll definitely be working on that. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if there's too much more I need to do in today's episode. That seems to be about all we can do for now. So if we have any extra time, might as well go to the spirit board and take on an extra spirit or so around here. Um, what do we got? So like, I don't know how to check if I have him or not. Oh yeah, that's right. There usually is like a check mark, right? Which only this character has a check mark. So none of these spirits I have. So you know, now would be a good time. Let's go against some of the novice ones then. I can't believe I don't have this guy. Well, no, it says clear right there on the top left. Weird. I don't have Cutman though. Doesn't say clear on the top left. I mean, I can still just take them on for the sake of it. They're not too difficult when they're at this level. All right, let's go for it. The enemy's side specials increased power. Stamina battle on the enemy favors side specials. Okay. See, so yeah, it's it's Young Link. Oh, two of them. Oh no. Come on, come on. Ah. Uh, sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. It's a little upset today, I guess. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I do, the one thing I really don't like, I wish you could charge up your side special while you were descending in the air. I think that would make for some fun strategical things. I often find myself trying to do it, but obviously it doesn't work. Oh, I'm getting my butt kicked right now. Come on. That's it. Come on, keep going, keep going. They both have a tiny little bit of HP. There's one. Go back and get rid of you. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so there's a spirit taken out without too much of an issue. <laughs> I stumbled a little bit. Come on, ready? Yes, gotcha. Maybe that's where I've struggled though, maybe because um, I never really cleared that shot. We do get some event bonus rewards increased, and that's good. You've reached the, you know, the limit, I think, for snacks. All right, so with that one out of the way, what else do we wanna do? I, I sort of wanna focus on the novice ones, just to knock out some spirits apparently I don't have. Um, so like we got this guy. And I will just switch around. Oh, we're using uh, Gulliver. Cool. Of course, uh, we've been meeting Gulliver in New Horizons every once in a while. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of that. Like, it's weird because I have not posted many episodes of Smash Ultimate this year because there's not been too much going on, of course. Um, oh, boy. But I'm so glad that's picking up a little bit. I, I have talked about it a little bit, but next episode, we got a new DLC fighter coming. It's Steve from Minecraft, which is by far, so far, uh, my most anticipated DLC fighter being added to the game. Banjo-Kazooie was great, but oh my gosh. 
it's Steve from Minecraft. Like, I can't not be super excited for that. I think the only thing that'd get me more excited is like Crash Bandicoot. Oh boy. All right, let's switch over to the big one right here. I don't know if I, ha I probably should have checked to see if I had the defense. I don't. Let's grab that donut. So I do have to be pretty careful because of that because this fire is not fun to deal with. Come on, ah, too slow for that. That was good though. Oh, that was fantastic. Come on up, come on up. See what happens. Nothing, but there we go. I had to do a little backflip kick. We got ya. So there's another one done. If we can make this shot. Oh yeah, this is easy, super easy. Okay, so we get Julius there, which I think is from Castlevania. Not entirely sure, but I'm liking the bonus rewards we're getting right now. That's always fun. So I'll, that's what will be my focus here. I'll clear out all the novice ones I can. Some of them are about to tick down, so gotta be quick about this. See, it says I have that one cleared, so I wanna take it at its word and focus on some other stuff. Like we got the novice one here for Vulpix. Let's just go for it um, against Fox McCloud here. And what does the spirit details for this one? Only certain Pokemon will emerge from the Pokeballs. I can only imagine Vulpix. So, Ready? let's go for it. Go. And he starts with a Pokeball. Not too surprising. He's so small though, it's cute. Okay, yeah, I'm sort of charging it up for too long. Oh, that was good, that was good. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do the side special. There we go, see ya. <laughs> awesome, pretty easy one right there. Might have enough time to get to another spirit that's still on that board. I'm quick about this. So there we go, get rid of you. And we get Vulpix out of the collection. Okay, so that had a fire flower equipped, I think it was. There we go. We're, we're actually getting a lot of spirit points for this. If we were to keep up with this, we'd probably get there no, no problem. Oh, there's Mugman, when did they add Mugman? I had no clue they did. Oh, that's so cool. See that, see these ones it gives me the check mark for. Um, but once again, I'll just focus on like one last novice one right over here. Um, we'll leave the rest for later. Uh, but I didn't know they added Cuphead Spirits. I wonder how many there are. There we go. Let's try this out, last battle of the day. I don't want to spend too much time <laughs> just, you know, doing this stamina battle. Enemy starts with a ray gun and rocket belt. Ready? All right. And this this spirit's called Flare, I think. Oh boy, you are moving quick right now. Come on down. Thank you for actually listening. I always appreciate it when the people I'm fighting are very cooperative in my efforts to destroy them. Oh, give me that Koopa shell. Thank you. Gotta come down sooner or later, right? There it is. Hmm. And then, no, 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 no. Don't know why that happened that way. Well, you were stuck back there. No, you're not. I mean, obviously you can jump, but. No, no, I didn't realize there was a wall there. Come on now. I've been, I have such a good lead on you here. I don't want to mess that up. Oh no. That was good, come on, just one more good hit. And there it is, slamming down on you. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out right there. And we got it. Cool, so there's another spirit for us. Rewards increased. Very good. See, with all that being said, we earned some good stuff there. I do wanna see, like, what is our count at now? Did I really not have those ones that I got this time? I don't think I did. So, um, 11 for the eight, so we did go up a little bit, for sure. All right, that's awesome. So hopefully I can keep chipping through that and we can get more and more spirits as time goes on. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.